What's up ladies and gents, Kings Reaper here and we are back with another episode of playthrough. So this episode we continue on our quest to kill some scavs on woods with a shotgun for our Punisher part 4 quest. So this time I took up a rig, I took a silenced the Sega 5 and went into woods to get some scavs because we needed quite a lot of them. So I spawned on the east side of the map and went backwards to find some scabs. And it didn't take a long. So that was one. So his friend came to aid him and for some reason he didn't die even though I hit him with so many AP rounds. And finally, he did go down. So I went even further down towards the spawns. And I sniped that scab with a shotgun easily. And just as I was taking a sip of a drink, His friend screwed my arm bad. But he went down as well. So after I looted those scavs, I went towards the extract to look for some more scavs on the roadblock. And of course, there was one. But this guy also refuses to die. After all, I did manage to kill him and looted his body, so I went immediately for the car extract, which ended up our first raid. But that was not enough kills, so... What do we do? Well, we simply load back into the woods to find some more scavs and kill them with shotgun cuz I really, really want that secure container. So this raid we spawned all the way at the extract and I started pushing towards the scav area. So this guy came out of nowhere. That was nice. So I killed that guy, waited to see if the, he has a friend, but it seemed that he was solo. So I went for his loot. And just as I thought I was done... Yeah! This guy came over here, gave me a simple one tap in the head immediately, before I could even flick on him. So unfortunately that ended up our raid miserably, but I still had to kill a lot more scavs, so once again, shotgun, silencer, AP-20 rounds, Another raid on woods, and we were ready to rock and roll once again. So this raid we spawned towards at, at the rocks up there, and I started pushing back for the scavs. When this gay, this gay, not a guy, this gay came out of nowhere, you know? So what do you do? You have AP-20 rounds with our, which are pretty much like sniper rounds. So, you take a high ground to see where he is. Oh, he had a gay buddy. His boyfriend was with him. Wonderful. Yeah, seems that didn't do the job. Ah! 
How wonderful. So it seems his friend shot me through the rock. Because I have no explanation of what there, what just happened there. But yeah, I was getting very pissed already. So there were no scavs at all. Anyway, had to load in again with a shotgun, AP-20 rounds, which are very expensive. But there we were once again on woods. So this time I spawned on the west side of the map and pushed right through the end of the map looking for scavs. But unfortunately there were no scavs to be found. I only found that dude. While I was here, I decided why not to take a peek in the stash. So I went up, looted his body, and then went down to sawmill in hopes that I would find some scavs. And there he was. But obviously he refuses to die. There seems to be some kind of a protection for players who disconnect, because that was obviously a player's scav who got disconnected in his raid, but I don't understand this type of a protection, because you can shoot as much as you want at them, they will simply not die. So you can clearly see he's walking and walking endlessly, he's being Michael Jackson version 2, and yeah, you just can't kill him. I wanted to try once again because I was not sure if my rounds were missing. No. Even taking a headshot, it's like, oh, we're fine. It's all good. So I let him run in place, looked for other scavs, and I found this. How wonderful. Somebody killed a scav boss guard and left all his gear. So, yeah, that SVD looked pretty nice. So, I picked it up, searched through his pockets to see what he had, he had some SVD mags as well, picked those up, and then after that I decided it was time to extract with an SVD because it's worth a lot of money. So after extracting, I was still not done with my quest, but I ended my play through that day and started playing next day so the first raid I took my Vepra Hunter and decided to go on customs try to make some money and look at that it was an ideal spawn for marked room so let's check what's inside oh, oh, oh boy hold Nick's bag nice and a DVL Perfect. Nobody was here, so I was free to go. So after looting that, I went immediately for the extract. And the extract was the smuggler's boat. Waited up there a little bit, just so that I get survive status. And then I went to sell the Holdnik's bag. <laughs> yeah, boy. And that was some hefty the profit man for 540,000 rubles that was a good deal so after quickly organizing my inventory I went again into the raid but this time I went with a scab I went to shoreline to loot for some items to check what I can find to make some money So I easily one tap that scav, only to hear another one come here. So this game works obviously perfect. You know, you shoot someone ten times in a head and they don't die. So obviously there's a problem with that window, I don't know why, but yeah, if you shoot someone through window, they won't receive any damage.
But if you shoot them through the door, they will die. So I pretty much looted around what I could, their bodies, and extracted successfully. So I went in once again with my PMC into the next raid to make some more money, if I could. And in this raid I went once again in customs. I spawned on the west side of the map and started pushing when I heard people shooting at the big red. And there was one guy sitting there. And of course I hesitated, waited too long and he pulled back. But he wasn't alone. So I gave him two solid shots and decided it. I had to push around to see if he's gonna push towards me, what is he gonna do. He did throw a grenade there. So I waited here to see where are these guys gonna go. And they decided to push me. And this dude was shooting an M1A. Okay. Just fucking die already. Nope. I don't want to die. So he pulled back. So, what do I do? Well, I take a hard flank all the way around and come back from the other side to see where they are. And I knew they were in big red because I heard shooting inside there. So I was just waiting patiently. Surprise, motherfucker. And I had no clue that was a squad of three guys, but hey, we got them all. So that was one of the best killing moments also in the game that I had in a longer time. So I killed all three of them, but I wasn't sure if there was maybe fourth or no, so I had to reload, slowly pushed in to see if there's somebody else there. Luckily, nobody was there. And these guys were loaded. They had rigs, they had helmets, they had pumped up guns, this was just insane. So they were loaded with ADAR, a decked out ADAR, they had an M1A, so I was pretty much grabbing everything that I could, everything that was worthwhile, they had a nice backpack over there as well, so I had to reorganize my inventory a little bit. And it was kind of hard, as it is always, to stash all of the goods they had, because they were, like, really loaded. They had grenades, they had good ammo in mags, so... Yeah, it's always time to make some hard decisions when you come across players like this. Because they're gonna be loaded with good gear, and you won't have enough inventory space to carry it all. And, of course, the scav pushed me. So I quickly ran out, started flanking all the way around the map, luckily nobody was in my path and I managed to extract with all that good gear. Now even now I still have that M1A stashed in my inventory waiting for one day when I'm gonna use it, because I love M1A, it's really good gun, and judging by all the gear they had I made a really hefty profit, so I came out with around half a million rubles or so, maybe even more. But, after that raid, I went into the next one. So, yeah, very interesting. You load in AFK and you hear somebody running towards you, so what do you do? Well, you sprint back to your PC in hopes he's not gonna kill you before you even see him. 
And I did get a lucky headshot there immediately, so I didn't even expect it to be a player, but after killing him, I got out immediately with all the gear that he had, extracted successfully again, and that was another profitable raid. You know, you just sit there AFK and you're done. And this was also completion of our Punisher Part 4. Also, we completed the scavs on Woods quest, so that was good. And I immediately took the Punisher Part 5 quest. So, the next raid I went in again on my PMC. And I loaded up into customs once again. So I had a perfect spawn once again for the marked room. I went up there just to see what we're gonna get. But unfortunately, this time we weren't as lucky. So there was a Lone Star, there was a handgun, core statue, but nothing of extreme value. Couple of chainlets. And that was pretty much it. And just as I was going out, I heard some action going on in the construction area. So I went looking for those guys. There they were. So this guy obviously just took at least, at least two M80 bullets into the chest and didn't die. Miraculously. So you can clearly see this guy getting three bullets in a chest and also not dying. And I shot that guy two more times and he still didn't die. So you know how I felt after that, right? Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. And that was kind of it for that day, cause I really, after that shots, and and that fight, yeah, it just ruins your day, and you're like, nope, I'm out. I'm not gonna play anymore. I'm done for today. So the next day, I came back. Took another Vepper Hunter, took my PMC and went into another raid on customs. And went immediately across the river. Looted all the stash on my way towards the exit. There were no players to be found at the moment. And then this dude came out of nowhere. After spraying like a maniac and barely hitting my shots, I went on to look what he had and, well, he had some decent gear on him. So I looted up everything that I could, took his backpack, any valuables, and decided to ditch the body and get out. So I went for the extract and just as I came there, I heard some action going around here. So I wasn't sure where the players were because I knew there were players around here definitely coming for the extract. And there I just heard him moving towards my left behind this corner. Nope. Not gonna see him like that. Well done. And Scav was aggroed on him. Nope. Missed all my shots. So I had to fall back and take this slowly because I didn't know where he went after that. He maybe ran back, he maybe ran for the... Silos, I don't know. Hey. 
and that was another scav, but not a player. That was also a scav, but not a player. So a lot of scavs were spawning around, but not one of them was the player. And that was definitely a player. So I finally did kill him, even though I had to kill a couple of scavs before that. But I was just making sure that he was alone, that nobody was there, no scavs, no other players, and basically there weren't. So I went on to loot everything that he had, any valuables. And just as I was about to exit, I decided, well, well, let's get our mag drill up. And as I was reloading the mag, another player came by. So there was a crap ton of bodies to loot as well from scavs that I killed. And he saw me. He knew I was here. He even shot at me, but he missed. So I flanked back once again towards the extract because I didn't know which route is he going to take. And boy oh boy, there was another player right back there in the corner. Now, I didn't know if that was his friend or that was entirely different player, but I was waiting for this guy to push. He had to come to me. The extract was here. And some blind firing did get this guy. So, I went on to loot his body as well. And this dude was quite loaded. But then I heard the third player also pushing towards the extract. So I had to get ready for another fight. There he was. One tap to the head. Perfect. So I didn't expect this guy to be very loaded, but when I came to him, oh boy was he loaded. And he obviously killed the scav boss, because he had his golden gun, so... Yeah. Now it was time for some hard decisions. What do you take with you? What do you leave behind? I always hate this, like when you kill so many people, you just can't take all the gear out, which is sometimes stupid, but unfortunately that's the way it is. Even if I wanted to cram all that items inside my inventory, there was absolutely no way to do it. So I was trying to optimally take everything that I could, the best options that I could. I probably could have looted this better, but I was kind of running out of time because there was like 3 minutes left. So I went quickly to check what this dude had, he had some decent attachments on shotguns, so I took what I could, but I was running out of inventory space. And this guy was also loaded with gear. He had a vest full of grenades, he had some decent helmets, but unfortunately I had no more time to loot and I went out. So basically this wraps up our episode for Punisher Part 4. In the next episode we will pursue the Punisher Part 5 quest. I hope you guys enjoyed this one because yeah it was kind of action-packed when it comes to PvP. Uh, if you did like this episode please give it a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notifications button, that bell icon to see when my next video comes up and I'll see you in the next one.